the most overlooked ranked matchup of the day, Oklahoma State at TCU. TCU, a four-point favorite. Let's go Pete Bill Reese. Well, I uh, uh, fresh off seeing my football man crush, uh, Quinton Johnston, have the breakout that I long, too long predicted to happen. His 14 catch, 200 plus yard uh, evisceration in Lawrence last week. I am feeling bullish about my frogs and uh, vindicated that one thing I actually said would happen came true this year. So um, I, I feel the need to point that out because it might not happen again. Uh I just am scared by Oklahoma's past defense numbers. And I know you can, you know, sort of chop it down to efficiency and look at total yards and they had some blowouts. Teams are passing and all that stuff. But when you're 104th in total defense and you are 126th in passing yards allowed, I just don't like the tenor of that matchup uh, for, uh, for, for TCU. So I, I just think like we, we learned, we've learned a lot about Oklahoma here the last couple of weeks. They showed some guts against Zach. Coming back the way they did, they went toe to toe with Baylor and won, which has turned into a sneaky good little Big Twelve uh, rivalry, kind of a ghost of Big Twelve future rivalry. I really feel like TCU in this moment at home should be able to figure out ways to fillet that defense, and I think we're going to see a little bit of like missing Jim Knowles in uh, in in all this. So I am going to take the Horn Frogs to run away from the Pokes. I, I love uh, the SP plus projection in this game was Oklahoma State 32.2, TCU 32.19. Um, oh. Just like the perfect tie pretty much. So I'm going to pick Oklahoma State. I'm going to take that hint and pick, pick Oklahoma State. It is very noteworthy, though, that as often as not in this series, it's it's not a close game. Like th- it's gone back and forth. I think they split the last eight, but there have been a lot of 14, 21, 40 something point wins in the series. And I think that could happen one way or the other in this one too, because basically each team has one major weakness each. TCU gives up too many big plays and Oklahoma State gives up too many big plays. So the like, haymaker is flying for 60 minutes in this one. And it's possible that one of them gets up and then just keeps landing those, those big shots, but I don't know who that's going to be. So I'm just going to, I'm going to ride the tie logic there and go with Oklahoma state. I'm going with Oklahoma state as well. Uh, I mentioned on Wednesday, this is the first big 12 conference game matching teams five and O or better since 2015 when it was TCU and Oklahoma state. Uh, that has nothing to do with this game other than the fact that it shows that with, you know, with uh, acknowledgement of the little slip that TCU's had the last couple of years, these two programs have been really solid for the last mm-hmm. several years. They've been really good. They've been uh, contenders and now TCU's in a new, uh, new regime and Sonny Dykes is sort of changing the, the culture. And maybe I'm just, uh, or not culture, but the way they go about things in terms of being an offensive juggernaut Really impressed. They looked the part on the hoof. I mean, they were impressive walking by the set on Saturday as they took the field against Kansas. They looked the part of a conference championship contending team at the Power 5 level. Um, Maybe I just need to see a little bit more to – maybe we're not quite to the the Sunny Dykes fade portion of the season just yet. Maybe that's not a real thing. Maybe there were just a confluence of circumstances that caused it. But – I'm going to go Oklahoma state. Uh, they kind of find ways. They, they make big plays when they need to, they get enough stops. Um, they sort of know who they are. Yeah. And you know, they, I, I'm going to go with the pokes and say that they really have the first statement of the season. They've had some good wins, but this one would be a big one and people will have to sit up and take notice of them. I, I'm going to go with the cow pokes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+.